Jeff Lerner here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to get started with affiliate marketing in reasonable terms and realistic terms, no, no hype and all BS aside. It's like the closest thing there is to a hands-off, uh, stress-free business because you don't have to have any employees, you don't have to have any inventory, you don't have to deal with customer service, you don't even have to deal directly with customers at all. You basically just get paid for referring people via automated links that you don't even have to like be involved with other than posting and they get clicked and you're totally hands off and you just get paid. That's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. Um, but let's talk about how to get started with this incredible business model. So affiliate marketing, it's the closest thing, like I said, that there, there is to a sounds too good to be true type of business. Uh, I have a special place in my heart for affiliate marketing because at a time in my life when I was really down and out, I was a was broke jazz musician who actually had hurt his hand, so I couldn't even play that many gigs, and I was living in a spare room, and my wife was leaving me, and I was in hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt because I tried to start a brick and mortar business, and it was all kinds of life chaos that I don't need to belabor and bore you with all the details of. But basically affiliate marketing like saved my financial life. I, I don't know if it saved my actual life. I don't know if I was like on a road to total destruction, but I know it really sucked and my future was pretty bleak and affiliate marketing was there. It was like this thing that I could get my hands on where if I could just get people to click the links, I could get paid and I didn't have to like staff up. I didn't have to have an office. I didn't even have to put on like a dress shirt. I literally learned to affiliate market uh, in in a bathrobe and slippers at a time in my life when I was like literally like kind of depressed and I didn't shave and I looked a mess and I was overweight and I never went outside but I feel like marketing doesn't discriminate it doesn't even care if you take care of yourself it'll take care of you once you learn it it, it was amazing I ended up generating you know a, a lot of money from affiliate marketing paid off hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt was able to to move you know move out of that town and kind of start a whole new life and really it was the the starting point of everything I've been able to accomplish since then. You know, since then I've gone on, on to start an agency and sold the agency and um, do e-commerce and I started a teaching company and I do YouTube videos and all this stuff. But at the core of it all, at the base of it all, is affiliate marketing. And here's the thing I love about affiliate marketing. Yes, it, as a business model, it's so elegantly simple. You're just getting paid for referring people to links where they go do business on other people's websites and you just get money for it. And that's cool, but what I really love about affiliate marketing is the skills that it forces you to learn. Because basically, if you learn the skills of affiliate marketing, you have such an advantage in starting any other type of business. Because with affiliate marketing, since all you're focused on is the front end, all you're focused on is getting people you know, to be interested in a thing and click the link and go to a place and purchase the thing. And then from there, you don't have to handle it. You don't have to learn op business operations. You don't really have to learn finance other than just making sure that you're not spending more on ads than you're collecting in commissions. But you have to learn operations. You don't have to learn finance. You don't have to manage people. You don't have to learn you know, long form pipeline management and, and customer relationship management. And you don't have to you know, get involved in enterprise resource planning and all the complexities of, you know, I mean, I've run businesses you know, at, at the largest, I had over a hundred employees between two businesses that I was the CEO of at the same time. And it was like, oh my gosh, there's so much to do every day. With affiliate marketing, it's actually like a joke. I mean, it's, it's something I laugh about. I have friends that are, that's all they do as affiliate marketers. I'm like, I mean, you guys are always on vacation. Like, I know that if I need something done, call an affiliate marketer because they spend a huge amount of their time just collecting checks from, from links that they've already posted and assets that they've already created. They tend to be pretty available. Let's dive into uh, you know how to get started with it. And I wanna start with the assumption for purposes of this video that you don't have a lot of money, that you're basically, you're trying to get started for free. That's what this video is, how to get started with affiliate marketing for free. You know, I, I generated multiple eight figures with affiliate marketing. I did by no means did I do that for free. I was, you know, I, there were times I spent multiple six figures a month on running ads, um, but you know, always profitably. We're talking, we're having a walk before you run conversation, and so we're going to start here with assuming that you have like no money to spend on ads. You know, at, at bare minimum, you may have to have like a 
a subscription for like an email service like a, an Aweber or a, you know, a MailChimp or a Constant Contact or SendLane or something and, and you're probably gonna need some kind of like a website or funnel tool. I use a lot of, uh, I have used ClickFunnels many, much in my day. I still use it to some degree. We can pop some links for those down below this video. But anyway, beyond those just basic tools, we're gonna talk about strategies that require no money. So here's how I suggest people get started with affiliate marketing. Because what I found with affiliate marketing is, if you can just get a few small wins, if you can just get those first few sales, those first few referrals, those first few commissions, you start to get momentum, you start to get belief, and you start to develop a, a little bit of a tolerance to say, hey, maybe I can put a little bit of money into this. You know, If I was able to get a few sales for free, then maybe I can spend a few bucks to drive some traffic to my, my funnel or my pages and try to get a few more sales. It's like your willingness to invest a little bit of money in your business and in yourself goes up if you can just get those first few wins. That's what I wanna focus on is, is a formula here, uh, you know, several steps that I've kind of broken into like five steps that you can use to start getting those first few sales with no money out of pocket. And the first thing is find products from your actual life that you think might have uh, what's called an affiliate program, that they might be, exist, you know, well, first of all, anything that's sold on Amazon is part of the biggest affiliate program in the world. Amazon is itself an affiliate program, it's called the Amazon Associates Program. And so any product you can buy on Amazon, you can promote as an affiliate and get paid a referral commission. So start there. Think, what are the products in my life that are available on Amazon, and right there you have a giant list of products that you can promote. And the real, the, the reason that I suggest you you pick products from your life as a starting point is because until you start to develop skills as a marketer, meaning you know how to write compelling sales copy, or you you know using language to drive people's behavior and get them to take action, and you learn how to you know. Uh, do what's called direct response marketing, where you know how to like design a page and you know how to structure your funnel and get people to do the thing you want them to do. Before you have any of those skills, what you have is your natural ability to persuade, your natural enthusiasm, your natural passion, your natural willingness to kind of throw your emotional energy behind something if you believe in it. You know, as marketers, people who have marketing skills we don't necessarily have to believe in a product. Certainly we like it if we do, but if you give us a set of features and benefits, we know how to write about a product in a compelling way because there's that's there's an actual art and a science to doing that. It's it's kind of like knowing how to write poetry. You know how to write sales copy. There's, there's rules. If you know how to write a sonnet in iambic pentameter, that's one thing. You don't have to necessarily love the subject of your poem to write that way. Well, just like that, we as marketers, we know how to just write copy in a compelling way. But before you have all those skills, like I say, if you just love the thing, or at least appreciate the thing, you'll be able to talk compellingly about the thing. Like, it's like referring someone to a movie that you liked. You don't have to be a, a, a savvy film critic. You don't have to be an expert in the how, you know, that, that film technique derived from Orson Welles' early works of this. You don't have to know all that. You just have to be like, yeah, the movie was awesome. It was intense, it made me feel good. I was leaning forward in my, leaning forward in my seat. You gotta see it, ah, you know. Just enthusiasm is, is still the most powerful sales technique there is. And so if you start picking products from your own life, you'll naturally be able to promote them uh, without having to have actual technical marketing skills or training per se, right? So make a list let's say 10 products that you use in your own life that you know are available on Amazon. If there's any like online courses or uh, products that you know how are, are sold online, like maybe like a, if there's been something that's powerful for you, like a health product, heck, a certain type of protein powder or something that helped you lose weight or something that helped you quit smoking. And then go online and actually Google, you know, affiliate program blank or blank affiliate program. Let's say it's, you know, for me, uh, I've got this mic here. I don't want to pick it up because it'll make a, a loud sound because it's recording right now, but it's a it's a blue snowball mic. If I Google blue snowball mic, I know at the very least they sell it on Amazon, but it may well be that the actual you know, company that sells the mics, which I think is blue, um, they may have an affiliate program. Or for example, they may also sell it at Best Buy and Best Buy has an affiliate program. So that's step two is after you make your list, find the best uh, paying affiliate program option for the different products that you promote. Uh, I want you to add to your your list. So you start with products that you have a natural passion for, a natural enthusiasm for, because you use them in your own life. And then I want you to actually start to learn about 
these affiliate networks out there because you know as you start delving into this world of affiliate marketing you'll find that there is just this massive universe out there of opportunity and products and things that you never even imagined because the key is you rarely want to just be an affiliate of one product you want to use your affiliate product to cultivate what's called a buyer list a list of people that are interested in that thing so let's say let's use protein powder let's say there was a protein powder that you loved and you found a, a, a website that sells protein powder and they had an affiliate program and you you promote it well now you have a list of people who bought a thing but that tells you something about those people like hey these are people that are interested in fitness so maybe i should now send them a link to uh, a, a 90 day training program, uh, you know, uh, uh, or how to, how to train for a marathon or how to, how to shred body fat or how to gain 10 pounds of muscle or, you know, some, the, some kind of a course or a program or, or something. And so you, you develop these interest based category lists and now you can follow up. And so when you go onto these affiliate networks, and I'm going to give you the name of two of them in particular, one of them is called ClickBank, one of them is called JVZoo. Actually, I'll throw in a third. There's one called Share a Sale. There's a lot of these. You can actually find information, mostly digital products or information products that you can promote to people who you've already pre-qualified as being A, purchasers, they're, or what we call buyers. They're people that'll actually purchase products. They have working credit cards and a willingness to make an online purchase, and they have an interest in that category. Well, that's a great person to send a follow-up offer to. Um, and now you'll have offers that you can follow up to the, the products in your life that you were, you were passionate about. So once you have products and you have products and offers, which are not to get too technical, but products and offers are kind of two description, two sides of the same coin. The product is the thing that it's sold, that is sold. The offer is the way that it's sold. It's the language, it's the page, it's the, the presentation. But now you need traffic and, or traffic or audience or a following. Uh, or you know, sometimes you'll hear the term list. List kind of means just anybody that you have any influence with. And for most people, you know, we actually already have an audience. A lot of times we don't think about it, um, but it's it's people in our immediate circle. And so a lot of people get started with affiliate marketing literally just by getting links and posting them on social media, uh, whether that's you know Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever. And that's where having a list of products that you've personally used is really really powerful because you say hey this this is a great product you know it it helped me lose 10 pounds and i uh, just want to share it if anybody's you know making a, a resolution to get back in shape this was really helpful for me you might like it and people click it and if they buy it it's not like it doesn't cost them more people are always so worried about oh i don't want to refer my friend if they find out i made money it'll be weird it doesn't cost them any more it's not like when you sell something through an affiliate link they mark the price up you just, you just happen to get a cut because you did some of the work of promote, promoting and advertising the product on behalf of the merchant. So anyway, and from there, from your personal list, you can expand, obviously with social platforms, you start putting out relevant content and you'll attract a following. You know, for example, I've been doing these YouTube videos for about a year, I started from scratch. I've got 2,000 subscribers now. I expect that number to grow uh, exponentially over the next year. It just, you know, with any of these social platforms, the, the growth kind of compounds uh, faster and faster. The more you do it, the more consistent you are. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to get into like blogging, if, you're, if you have a lot to say and you want to either shoot videos or write articles and put them on a website, um, that stuff will get organically indexed by the search engines and start to naturally attract more people. Um, and then there's all kinds of advanced tools you can get into. And I teach about this stuff in, in Entra and um, shoot, you know, I do some other videos about some of this fancier stuff, things like messenger bots and SMS marketing and, and, and all these different ways you can build your communication list. But really, just as a starting point, just think about producing content and, and growing your reach on social networks. Here's the, the, the best way to get your affiliate links out there in a way that entices people to want to click on them and get you paid is to actually review the product. So like I've got the new AirPods here, I'm, I'm dating this video, but I've got these new AirPods, they're AirPod Pro, I think is what they're called. And honestly, they're amazing. They, they have noise cancellation. You can also uh, just pinch them 
and then it actually creates, I think it's called transparency, where it doesn't just let sound bleed through, but it actually will amplify the ambient sound. So let's say somebody's talking to you and you've got these in and they're on noise canceling and you can't hear a word they say. You pinch them and then it'll actually not only allow the person's sound to, to come through, but it'll, it'll actually amplify it and you can hear them better. It's like having a hearing aid. They, get, they toggle between noise cancellation and actually functioning like a hearing aid. It's amazing. And if I was an affiliate for an Apple product, which by the way, I totally could be because they sell these at Best Buy and I could be a Best Buy affiliate, I would have just told you that and tried to sell it to you. Uh, and, and they wouldn't cost you anymore, but I would still get paid because I referred you. You know, just start doing reviews of products that you like. It's just that simple. So get started affiliate marketing. Like I said, it's such a powerful business model. It can change your life. It changed my life. I've shown you that you can basically get started on it for no money. Um, I, if you like this video, I'll invite you to subscribe to my other videos. My channel is all about helping people have an awesome life and showing them ways to pay for it. So if that's something that you might be into, go ahead and click the button to subscribe. Click the little bell to get notified as I put out new videos. I'll see you on the next one and thanks for your time.